All right, guys, back again. Welcome back to the channel. We've got a little bit different video today. This is going to be what I call fishing hacks, major fishing hacks. Matter of fact, fishing hacks that I really wasn't even sure I wanted to share with you guys because I've been holding on to a few of these for a long time, but I am going to let you in and show you a few of them. First of all, thank you for joining me on the video. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and click that notification bell so you can check out what we've got going on. And again, if you're new to the channel, jump in there. We've got lots of cool adventures, lots of crazy fish catches, lots of fun and interesting things. So thank you for being on the channel and uh, drop me a comment. I want to get to know you guys. Thank you for all of the support, but this jump right into it, fishing hacks. And again, guys, I'm telling you, I really wasn't sure I wanted to dive into some of this stuff, but the very first one we're going to tap into, how many of you like to throw a Carolina rig but hate rigging it up, right? Or maybe you've only got one rod that's kind of set up for your Texas rig or Carolina rig situation and you don't want to, you know, you're not sure what to do. I'm going to show you a quick and easy hack on how to rig something up that you can easily go from Texas rig to Carolina rig just in the matter of a second or two. Pretty cool little system. So first, Let's open up the box. Let's open up the deck system here and get out all the goodies. All right, first thing is, let's get a couple things out. What you need, number one, is you need bobber stops, okay? Standard bobber stop, stops that I use when I'm flipping, pitching. A lot of times when I'm Texas rigging, I don't want that weight to slide at all. I want to snug it down to the top of my Texas rig, so I like to use the bobber stops. So we need bobber stops. Second thing is, we need a weight. This is a standard, uh, I believe that's a half ounce, which is a good size for flipping and pitching, but also if you're gonna throw a Carolina rig. So that's all I need there. And then the third thing is pretty simple. My favorite hook in the world, a Trocar TK-130. So those are the three things we need to rig up Texas rig and a Carolina rig with all of that right there. That's right, two different rigs with just that. All right, so basically here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the barber stops and I'm going to actually use two bobber stops instead of one on the line, which if you don't know how to use the bobber stop, you just basically put the, your line through the little loop on the bobber stop. So that's one bobber stop on the line. I'm going to put a second bobber stop on the line. So I've got two bobber stops on the line. I'm going to pull some slack up, okay? Two bobber stops right there. Then I'm going to put on the weight, okay, done deal there. Now, this is the part that is important, okay, and simple at the same time. I'm going to put on more bobber stops. I'm going to put on two more bobber stops. And again, heavier the, bobber, heavier the weight, I might go to a third bobber stop. I may do a third bobber stop if I'm fishing three quarter ounce or even one ounce and making real hard long cast. So now, I'm gonna slide those bobber stops up. All right guys, so that's perfect right there. Two bobber stops above, two bobber stops down. It's just like when you have attach that swivel on there, it prevents that weight from falling. So now I've got my tag in here. I've got all my line. Real simple, I'm gonna take my Trocar hook. Now I like the TK-130s because I like them for flipping and I also like them for Carolina rig. And so I'm gonna just tie a standard Palomar knot right here. Now, I am going to get one of my baits out of here. Let's see. That'll work. All right. Got to have some baits. I like this crack and crawl a lot for Carolina rigging and a lot for flipping, obviously. So check this out, guys. Right now, I've got a Carolina rig. Look. See that? So what's really cool about this is it's completely adjustable on your length. I can make a four or five inch Carolina rig, like a little mojo rig. I again can make it longer real quick and make it two foot long, okay? So easily can adjust that however I want on the fly without having to retie leaders and everything else. Also, when you break your line off, a lot of times it breaks here at the hook. You don't have to keep retying your swivel and all that stuff. Now, I do use a traditional Carolina rig if I'm going to Carolina rig fish all day long. But a lot of times when I'm just out fishing and I'm just trying to figure out if I want a Carolina rig or not, and kind of in between, I can adjust like this. Now, here's what's great about it. We're talking about a Carolina rig. Guess what, guys? This is how quick it is to turn it into a traditional flipping and pitching Texas rig. Just like that, right there. There we go. Now I can flip and pitch 
in the mats of grass, in a bush, whatever I want to do, and it's ready to go, just like that. I don't have to worry about cutting that off, storing anything, it's good to go. So this bait right here, when you, when you flip it in the water, it goes down through the water just like it's supposed to. The legs are kicking, everything's all together. It looks really good on the bottom. It comes through the water column just perfect. And again, when you slide it up, when you slide it up like this, it's your traditional Carolina rig. Underwater, gives you that extra movement here where this bait's floating around in the back. And uh, you can adjust the different sizes so it looks really, really good in the water, very enticing for the fish. And that's my hack, guys. Again, we can turn a standard Carolina rig into a standard Texas rig or vice versa in the matter of just a few seconds and rig it up just like that. So if you only got one rod rig up and you want to try a couple different things when you're out fishing, try the adjustable Carolina rig convertible Texas rig. That's the hack right there for you. Now, we're done with that hack. We got enough time to show you one more. One more. Kind of thinking about it. Didn't really want to show everybody this hack, but I'm going to show you. Let's get into it. By the way, I have a lot of hacks, guys. So if you like this video, these, these little hacks, be sure, to, again, to subscribe to the channel because we'll have some more of these videos coming your way. But let's, uh, let's get into lipless crankbaits a little bit. Lipless crankbaits. I love throwing lipless crankbait. I've caught a lot of fish on lipless crankbait. Lots of different colors, lots of different sizes. And you know, one of the, one of the big things when you're throwing a three quarter ounce lipless crankbait, a lot of times the fish will have a tendency to throw that bait, not, not only because it's a big bait, but also it's heavy, right? It's three quarter ounce, it's flopping around, it throws the hook. And so a good friend of mine, Lake Seminole, Matt Beatty, Matt, I hope you don't mind me sharing this, uh, gave me this little tip on how to rig up a lipless crankbait when you're fishing around grass that will help you not lose those fish. So let's jump right into it. All right, so let's take a three quarter ounce lipless crankbait. Here's, here's one of my favorite ones. This is a live target. Matter of fact, you, you ever wonder enough, I've caught a few fish on this bait. Look at the teeth marks and the scratches on this bait right here, guys. That thing is completely destroyed. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I like to make this. I'm gonna take these treble hooks off and I'm gonna make this bait basically neutral when the fish gets on, neutral weight when the fish gets on. I don't know how to ex quite explain that, but you'll understand here in a second. Uh, Pretty cool little trick. So first, let's remove the hardware right here on the bottom. I'm gonna take everything off the bottom of this, even, even the split ring. So I've removed the trebles. All right, so I'm gonna take off the top split ring as well. I like to save all that because you never know when you're gonna put it all back together. All right, completely de-rigged, three quarter ounce lipless crankbait. Now all I need is a treble hook, which I have here. That is it. Guys, I'm gonna put this back together with this one hook by itself I'm gonna make this bait where it's able to slide on the line. It'll run completely true, it'll run perfect. When the fish gets on it and jumps, this will slide up your line. And again, it reduces the weight because it's not directly connected to the hook. This is how I do it. All right, so I've got my little, nice little lipless crankbait rod. It's got 17 pound P-line on it. This is the favorite six stick. It's, uh, it's a great, great rod, seven four in length. I love it for my lipless crankbaits. Got it matched up on a high speed reel. But uh, 17 pound, 15 to 17 pound is what I like when I'm fishing lipless crankbaits. I don't want to fish much lighter than that, or even with this particular setup, I don't want to go lighter than that. So basically what I'm going to do is I am going to attach the line. I'm going to run it through. I'm not tying it on. I'm going to run it through the top eyelet and through the bottom eyelet. I am going to, now I'm going to go ahead and tie the hook on right here. Now you understand why I took all the split rings off. Tie that on, just a standard Palomar knot. That is a single hook line through, or what we'll call a line around lipless crankbait. When that bass jumps, that hook stays in the fish and the bait will swing away from the hook because it's not attached. And your hookup ratio is gonna go through the roof. So again, I like to use this when I'm catching a lot of fish and I'm losing them. I'm starting to lose them when they're jumping, jumping off. So rig it up just like that. It'll come through the water really, really good. And uh, it's, it's a really neat way of getting a few extra fish in the boat. So that's my other little hack right there. Check it out, guys. So again, if you like these videos, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, we've got some more hacks coming your way. 
So guys, drop me a comment down below if there's something you'd like me to talk about in some upcoming videos. And again, we've got some cool stuff coming your way, more new challenges, a whole new tournament season coming your way. Before, before you totally go, check out the link to the new merch on the channel. Guys, we'll drop a link down below. Thanks for hanging out. We gone. Boom! Thank you.